Hello, welcome back to Hand of Fate 2 and today No, 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 something and it's time to be judged. You are in the process of becoming. You came to me believing you were at the end of your journey, but you were merely beginning. Here we will form you into the weapon you must become. If I do everything. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't want to call it corruption. Do I? Let's see. That, that. that. Maybe that. Take our pumpkin, I like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's anything. This, this. I think how the crab is saying. Oh, this cow's in bracket, I don't know. Corrupted imperatives and learns not that no there won't be any there will be no there will be no goblins. Don't you? Which one? Mask of Holy Fortunes? Sure. Paper size, nice. And that's not where it is. Oh, it's a charm. Conservation. Caution. What is it? What did this tiger It's bullseye. Take lots of five supplies. Goblins, maybe necromancer. So my, maybe they will be alright. Soldier, that's it. step and with it judgment we must face the consequences of the things we have done if we are to ever find our Ooh. worth and facing consequences so this and so you come closer with every moment to the beginning of our story one bells ring out across the city that was too easy Estra says as you and your companions scramble down the spiraling circus to the palace armor did nobody else hear the disembodied voice? Far from being a subtle, Ariadne looks excited. The caravan. Malgap shouts to you all. We must get to the caravan. I know where it is. The marigold fields are beyond the swamps and mountains and the, at the, on the outskirts of the empire. They will come for us. Goblin mumbles. We are at its heart and we have killed our emperor. You bar 
burst through the armor doors. The walls are laid and within an hour ever could collected by the Emperor across the century. Ariadne tosses you some gear. Mm, okay, no shit equipment yet. That will have to do, Estra says. There is no time to lose if we are to reach the caravan. Our first obstacle is to get out of the Emperor City and fast. Hard, hard choices to face on the road ahead, Corporal says. I don't know why I said like this. Starting out the small armor window. We may not all survive what we have started. We knew the risks, Abstra replies. I, for one, stand by my choice. If we are if we are to escape the city, we're going to have to rough up the barrel. This is certain back streets and we'd best keep it up. Who would you have by your side? Let's go like this. Ariadne joins me. Very well, Astral says. We should meet at nightfall. We can recruit and coordinate from there. Now remember, Astral calls after you as you leave. We escape through the city gates on the other side of the city. We'll need to find a way past the wall for the inner, distri inner district. Astral looks to Ariadne and adds. And the Empire patrols, they outnumber us greatly. We cannot hope to defeat them. Avoid them at all costs. That was quick. Did you not consider that the Empire would stop at nothing to ensure you are found? <gasps> Why it showed after I pressed the second time? The Imperial soldiers surround you. Traitors of the Empire! The little yells as they rush to attack. Why? Why it, they showed after I pressed the second time? Or at least block me from pressing second time so fast. Oh. Sorry. I needed to fix my trip. A circus fortune teller told her that she would die a hero, and die a hero she will. Time to wreck this joint. Hey, do your stuff. Perhaps you will find this more useful now that new foes have begun to appear. Thank you. You make use of the scars before this reinforcements arrive. Okay, they'll go down. What the hell? Okay, I don't get it. I honestly don't understand. Why? Did they just follow me? Or do they walk randomly? Yeah. 
charity always brings its just reward. Mm. I don't want any of this. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Of course you need... Ah! He's got snatching the item. Of course you'll pick the good stuff. No, you can have this. A screw! Okay. And I think we need to fail. We need to fight all of this. What a shame. I really tried to fail. Nope. Nope. I'm clicking everything I get. Yes. And the round stumbling down the street, chased by a horde of corrupted. He falls at your feet and begins to twitch. The blood from his wounds boils and blackens. Try to escape. You run for your life through unfamiliar streets, pursued rel relentlessly by the corrupted. So, well, this is free. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, success. Eee! Ducking through and away, you manage to lose some of your pursuers. Ready weapon. Actually, the terror of light for the bomb. Please uh, let me choose who I lost. Just runs around. We have a mask? We have a mask? Alright, we were given each type of equipment. Seriously though, that's annoying. <laughs> they always, they always go on me. They always know where I will go.
other stuff. Oh yeah, I'm trying to hit this one. <laughs> Never mind! That's what I meant! They always follow me. Oh. oh, sure. This. Take it. Elven ring. Ooh. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Ask for supplies. Every step before you is filled with enemies. If you are to reach me, you must shake them all free. You find your companions taking cover in an alley across from the gate to the outer district. This is the infected, Astra explains. The commotion of the guards has incited them. They're gathered here, walking to take them to the outer, outer district. This is the only way out of the city. Big around the corner. Hey, my, my monitor is ending. This doesn't look good. No tips as well. Stir up the hornet's, hornet's nest if we try to get past them. I swear we're like cowards. We should head forward, Astral replies. It's only a matter of time before we're found by the Empire, and this is the only way beyond the wall. We feel a gentle attack on the corner of the sleeve. He turned to face a small recent goblin. When I was frowned, wrinkling his face. Gerald knows a way. Below the city there's a path, home to a king from an age past. The Empire has forgotten. Meet all there. And with that he turns and disappears down the uh, another way, looking back at some okay. What a crooked little thing! Ironic chuckles. I don't trust it. We should fight and make a break for the city gates. Oh trust a goblin over hold of infected! Malcap snows me too. I thought he's a knight and better be tusk for fee. Yeah, which was retreat. Split up once again and fall back into the barns. This is a place of death. You should be comfortable here. And I am. You meet with a bad tempered goblin. It glances furtively around. They are looking for you. If you don't want to die, you should hurry. Oh, wait, what? The catacombs lead under the ward of the inner bailey. Gerald will show you for a price. Okay, show me. Gerald was sent to help you. The goblin matters here tumbling. Gerald did not agree to do it for freedom. In a flash, the empty goblin snatches at your belongings. Sure, take it. Hey! He looks over them. He looks them over his stubby hand. It will do. Why are you helping? Gerald was ordered to. The goblin was supposed to be so cool about it. Ah, uh, sure. Full Gerald to an open sewer gate by an abandoned hospice. Then, quiet out of nowhere, he presses a flaming torch into your hands before falling into darkness. The torchlight flickers on the wet stone as you crouch and crawl through the tunnel. Then, quiet out of nowhere, the tunnel opens up and you can breathe again. Light filters in weakly from cracks in the ceiling, revealing a cavern with the smell of old death, the catacombs. Suddenly, there's a rattle and the sound of metal in darkness coming towards you. No rave, though. Watch. Wait, what? I thought we were supposed to... Oh, wait! Why 
would I ever go to the center of the room for traps to fight with lots, horde of skeletons, skeletons? As at long last you emerge out from the catacomb and breath fresh air, draw the goblin is not to be found. You meet with your fellow conspirators at an inn on the fringes of the Empire. Here, between the monks of Ale, begin plot and plus don't you? With the fair bones low in the hearth, you hear a knock at the door. So, cast you straight to the door, armor, armor gleaming. I cannot about this. You should never have smirked at the Emperor's portrait, you scroundrel. The Emperor has no place for honor with soul swords. She says loudly, seizing, sizing you up with contempt. Guys, looks like you are a little more than this thing talks. Nobody cares for your outrageous claims of carries. I know of this mercenary. I know of this mercenary. I traded up the back of the pipes up. They say she defeated the magical shaman of a northern tribe. Irrelevant, the soldier says, turning back to you. You think you know how to handle the thing, do you? She continues gesturing at your weapon. <laughs> I am Cassius, the finest swordman in my company. Would you like to prove your mettle against a real warrior? Or are goblins and corrupting a little bit Sure, we'll find Apparently he's very drunk. <laughs> very drunk and known to have- yeah, he is very drunk, okay, so very drunk. Uh, just after I lost my artifact! Does it destroy armor as well? So, so. Your opponent steps back and says, I don't have time for this nonsense. Seven Crown cheers your victory, and the tales of your battle are told and retold, your prowess growing with each tally. Finally! See, the wall is impossible, oh, so we need to go down there. Your path through the city is blocked by a horde of infected, they mill about, unaware of presence. The garrison balls continue to toll in the streets beyond now. Switch feet. You swing back the way you came and search for another way. Please don't turn me. Mm. Yeah. I was hope hoping that we were gonna stand on the same cover. Like we always do. There's Emperor, there's Mal, there's Dealer, and there's me. Kalos? There's Kalos, yeah. Kalos is the Emperor's. Who the hell is Kalos? Swings like a scythe, it's bearing hope. Or it's fate. a huge failure. Before we can land your first blow, Ariadne lets out a scream. You turn to witness your companion being struck down by another group of infected. The rest of the infected turn and stumble towards you, arms rushing in agitation. You ready yourself for a second attack. Well, that's a 
bit better Are you awake long enough? That was my chance, never mind That will set you in good stead from here your well-placed blows shattered the crust of corruption, protecting Daryl's body as it slumps to the ground. You glance a calculated strike and finish the beast. Despite your best efforts, the remaining infected close in. Hello, Juggernaut! Someone else. Like this. Running away, then keep running away. What did I just say? The horde decimated to continue escape through the barrel. Yay. Let me move! And we we have heavy armor. I can remind you. Sets things in motion. Who and when do you know? Bells All will be clear in time. Bells continue to toll as a crowd of paupers and townsfolk fill the square leading out of the Imperial City. 
guards blocked the way, checking all wagons and persons trying to enter and leave. The people cry out for others, Let us through! Let us through! But they are only met with a wall of shields blocking the gate. Estrella beckons to you and Ariadne that from the alley across the street, you press through the crowd avoiding the guards and join the companions. There are more soldiers here than we can ever hope to defeat, Estrella says, and they will only gain in numbers the longer we linger. Somebody must be sacrificed. Will be numbers. Perhaps last is both of hot balls jingling. You don't have to be so cheery about it. I won't be don't set me because I don't be enough of distraction. Ariadne's blue eyes looked wordly between the two. Surely there's another way we can all escape? No. Cold beer in spite. This is the only way. Trust is trying to be good. Someone will have to draw the guards' attention for the orders to escape. There's precious little time. Who will it be? No, no one! No, 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 no. Colbin waits for you all to get to the front of the crowd near the gate and clambers aloft of a merchant's wagon in the center of the square. His great mass is enough to cause the square to fall silent, but for the ringing of the bells in the distance, the northerner blinks at the sunlight in his eyes. I am Colbin of Clan Ibright. I have slain your emperor. Wait, wait, no! Get him! The guards shout. If the guards distracted you, the party sneaks through the gate and out of the city. You pause for a moment to look back, but Strahd grabs your arm. We must keep moving. Do you even know what success requires here? We can only give Kogra a moment's more thought before being rushed out of the steam with a sea of peasants. And with that, you continue over the pass with one less companion. How? How, how can we? The model mood is somber as you set up a camp at the edge of the marshes. Do you think there's any chance? Are you gonna ask if you have any No one cries. Definitely not going through the red. Oh, it's sooner. Great! The Empire is offering a pretty price for your head, adventurer! One of the men remarks while casually inspecting his plate. Nothing personal, though, adds as they advance towards you. And I have a heavy whip. Great. to uncover all the parts, all the encounters. Quickly, while we have the upper ground. We don't have. Really? I I can't do it. What the Really though, what the fuck? Yes, we fight. He's at it again. Thank you, Strong. Thank you. You can't avoid your fate forever, one mouth gasps as he falls. Spend a little time searching the phone before leaving discreetly. He gave it to me. No, we 
people want to go there. First tell me. Wait, 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 so I can give it to you. Mm, I don't see anywhere it's with bow. A source of Imperial arms, if you can merely avoid the corruption and death. On the outskirts of a small village, you see a crowd of angry peasants confronting a squad of imperial soldiers. The soldiers are desperately trying to keep the peace. As you push your way to the front, you learn the village has been overrun by the corrupted. An imperial officer addresses the crowd. We can't spare any soldiers to take back the town, but we can equip you to take it back yourselves. The officer recognizes Estrella immediately. At least, soldier, Estrella says with a wave. We thought we might be able to lend a hand here. Officer get gestures to a card holding the arm. Of course, Captain, take whatever you need. The will just ready themselves for the assault. There's a trek. I think this should help. Just now I thought about this. If we can't we can't get through the walls normal way, we should create ourselves a different path. Oh they are all swarming the villagers. We have cleared the village of corruption, but few of its inhabitants remain to up by it. There's really not anything I can do. Oh, for fuck's sake! Thank you. The enemies you have made are endless, and each would stop you from fleeing your crime. You find your companions taking cover sh a short way from the bridge across the raging river. Bounty hunters, as trying models, and sure the Empire has put a handsome price on our heads. The guild could not resist such a reward to look up ahead. This doesn't look good, Estra says. We have no other option this time. What should we do? From out of nowhere, familiar Kantan Keras goblin appears, frowning out all of you. Gerald has been sent to help. There is a boat upstream that can take you across the river. You'll have to battle the current on your own, find yourself right back there with this stack. These stack. 
Jolt looks delighted at the prospect. He turns and disappears back into the rushes. You probably want something for his trouble, Malkip says. Goblins always do. But the boat sounds much more to my taste than dealing with these bounty hunters. What do you say? Yeah. We have rivers that run through us, that divide us into heart and head, body and soul. Sure enough, you find the goblin by the side of the river. It points to a small water mark moored by the bank. Yeah. The goblin gives a nervous smile. The current is strong, you may think. Malcolm makes a strange quirk. That thing's merely a raft! How can we hope to make it to the other side? We have to. The goblin stops as you as you approach the raft. You will soon have few cards to play, he rambles. Ralph must get something shiny while he still can. Flash the common sentries at your belongings. Sure. I am happy. Ralph was ordered to buy. By you! By the dealer. And see a pile of threaded old oars, then one goes back into the rushes. You push off, and the water begins to move you downstream. The current is strong as truck falls over the road of the river. Get out of to the far bank before we wash up at the bridge down river. Together, you and your companions attempt to steer the raft to the other side. This is faster. Ooh. Yeah. You we'll wait. Don't rush it. Never rush it. The ground is strong, but you are hard. With some effort, you manage to steer the raft to the far bank before you swept too far downstream. Seriously! This is so annoying! It's not even dangerous, this is simply annoying! Nope. Nope. Just let me kill him! Pressed But you didn't want to fight earlier, now you are all... Offer them gold. Oh, okay. Thanks. Make your choices carefully. Your friends have served you well, but they must serve you a final time. You find your companions huddled around a small fire at the beginning of the foothills at the edge of the marshlands. Without a word, Ariadne throws a pot of water on the fire with a hiss. Then, with a tired note, you all begin your climb. Together you scramble up the slippery banks to the drier lands of the foothills. As dusk falls, you look back over the marshlands. There you see the torchlights of the Empire search parties, hot on your trail. Suddenly, Estrella stops. She puts her arm out in front of you. Walking away, you look up the path ahead. Bounty hunters. 
Sure enough, up ahead in the shadows of the rocky outcrops you see them, a gang of countless thieves, waiting to claim you as all as their bounty. One hooded figure steps forward. Well, if all our pay stays have a come at once, he chuckles. There's a plenty price on your head and we intend to claim it. Ariadne brandishes her hammer excitedly. Send them at me! Uh, they are, are easy folded for my hammer. You sure? Ariadne strides up the hillside toward the hooded figure, trailing her great hammer in her hands. Are you ready to have a good time, lads? A thief trips over himself as he backs away. Is that one that have fall done fell directly at the mighty? Ariadne lets out a booming laugh. And now I'll squash the lot of you! She raises her hammer above her head. I don't care what the bounty is, one of the thief cries. I'd rather keep my school intact! A small army of thieves exchange looks with one another before scuttling in fear. Well, that was disappointing, I written smiles from ear to ear as she turns. You see how they run from me? I must be making quite a name for myself. <sighs> so Corbin wasn't just the proper option. Beyond this range, you find yourselves in the snowy hinterland or to the northwest of the Empire. I would expect northerners in these parts, Ariadne says. With the best head west between those two mountains to the pass beyond, where the marigold fields and the caravan waits. So first is Mal, then is Ariadne. Now it would be called Bjorn. And last one will be Estrella, I guess. I didn't expect that. We need to buy something for the goblin. Tinged with flame, yet you must cross, or all is lost in vain. Following the trail through the twisting canyon and find a northern encampment. There are many warriors here, Ariadne whispers, and another group further down through the pass, I wager. The attack on sight, Gerald, the sorry goblin appears behind you. Gerald can offer you another way. North is a cave, the goblin continues. The passage leads through the mountains to the woodlands in the west. It then wanders down the gully hour and out of sight. We could attempt to get the upper hand on the raiders, or we could take another route, Ariadne says to you. Let's retreat. Oh, come on. Thank you. You are cunning, and your allies many. You find the Grandpa Goblin huddled beside a large rock, sheltered from the wind of the snowy caved mountain. The cave? The caverns beneath the mountain were walls are the home to a great king. The road stands soaking to the cool. A labyrinth of tunnels leads beyond the canyon to the other side of the mountains. Okay. The way does not come for free. Can flash the golden statues at your belongings. Sure, strip me naked. He looks the more up above him. It will do. Charles was older to play. Roll leads you to a crack in the frozen mountainside. He then presses a flaming torch into your hand. It is harder. You will die if you cannot see. The ancient goblin prince at the top. You head into the freezing darkness, looking back to see the old goblin silhouette watching you. The grand tunnel leads on for what feels like an age. As you go, you begin to find old stones, sconces, and worn markings in the wall. Then, with a cold gust of wind, you appear in a cavern. In the torches' weak light, you, may, you can make out stone balconies and stone carpets. Then you hear something. Oh, hi. In the cold darkness, there comes the sound of weapon on the shitty. I think there's Or maybe. One or the other. So we need to keep them both. No, I wait. Once again, there's no reason for me to go over there. All we need to do now is go through. Just get through. I don't really need to kill any of those guys. Yep. <laughs> we only need to get through. A 
At long last, we emerge from the cavern of all the wolves for wear. We take a moment to breath the cool, crisp air. Where will we go? Probably here, of course. Because I'm going here. If I can wait, I don't. I'm not quite sure. Do your thing, please do your thing. For good health, please. Thank you. Um, uh, any? Of course, there does an ambush. Seriously, you have the upper hand. They don't move. So, how do I decide where to go? I can't wait for them. No. Because no matter how I move, oh, they didn't go my way. That's interesting. This card is not lightly called judgment. Here, you must pay the price for your regicide. And also for your decisions. You join your companions at the foot of the pass as planned. As you begin your ascent, not the new world will emerge from the craggy rocks and block your path. Rock first successor, a small or much younger Nodiner steps forward as you approach. Call Bjorn of Klein Arbright, he calls. You bested us in battle, and as right we bear no qualms with you, but you cannot bring the Empire here. Turn back, and he said. There's only one way forward to the marigold fields and to the caravan. The other 
directions are only spelled out missing someone could probably have clan full food. I had an approach as an ordinary leader. Work for success or tones red with anger. We do not parley with those who are not of our blood. But he continues, you have defeated the Emperor. As the high priest is desirous, Clan Crawford will grant you passage. He runs his frozen blade through Ariadne's chest that he protruding out the other side. Remember this friend of Coldburn, a betrayer, he addresses you. You may pass, but never seek our protection again. It seems like some sort of ancient blood payment has been made. Clown cruel food allows the rest of you passage pass. You can only arrange Ariadne as best as you can. Already you hear the Empire soldiers approaching. Now of cold and grief continue on. You descend the mountain pass and enter the forest dotted with blooms of red flowers. In a clearing, sure enough, is with a long caravan. A mournful horn signals the Empire is closer than ever. You set off at Ram. this no why because this is gonna screw everything I don't want it <laughs> sorry, sorry, I didn't. Okay, aha, okay. You have made bitter enemies, and the best of them stop you now. One step closer, and you will reach my threshold. Imperial soldiers surround you as you approach the clearing with the caravan. A knight steps forward. Fools, he calls. No one can hope to escape the Emperor's reach. You have survived this far, not by lack of skill, you have survived it because we let you. He chuckles. If the sacrifice of the Emperor is what it takes to draw out the last of the mages, then it is a price that must be paid. The knight steps aside as the soldiers completely surround you. With the inevitability of the Empire closing in, you give the nod and your companions ready their weapons. Malakaibs looks you in the eye. You know we're not going to get through unscathed, but I see no other way. Estrella dashes towards a group of enemies, sword drawn. Uh. No, I'm fine. Nicely timed. Estrella defeats her target. Malakaibs is book close at his summoner spells. Ooh, really? Yeah, we troll. <laughs> Overwhelmed by the sheer number of enemies, Malakaibs falls to the ground, injured. More soldiers rush, rush towards you. You draw so I think I'd fly them with some crap and still free your mind. That's not a lot. So be it, the knight says, stepping forward. He lowers his helm and drawing his weapon, he calls the last of his men. Charge! At the front lines of great upheaval, there are always men who flounder anywhere but in the midst of battle. Nope! Oh my 
Dagger. Let's trade them. Really? with your sword. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's the first time I saw this kind of attack. So close. What a shame. An end to your life and to your struggle. But we know what to do now. How to do it? We don't know which order exactly. You know, there's second is Red, and third one is Cold Beyond, but first one inside a mall or Estrella. Yep, well, I guess that's it for now. Well, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!